Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the Group M Round 2 match between Jonesy and Caster, a Dark Elf Mirror. As you can see these are very similar, predominantly white teams, so we can make this red and blue. So there you go, Caster in red, Jonesy in blue. Um, you can see the table as it stands, unbelievably Mr. Page beat Diomed. Uh, incredible win for him so now if Caster wins he's in a very good spot and if Jonesy wins then it's neck and neck throughout the whole group so all to play for with this match very exciting Caster is French and qualified through the season 5 official ladder and as you can guess with Jonesy tribute to DBBL he is German and qualified through the DBBL uh, Deutsch Football League, um, which funnily enough is how I qualified for the World Cup on Blood Bowl 2, but I didn't take the ticket because I also qualified through the Rebel League, and seeing as I was a member of Rebel, I, I accepted the Rebel ticket. So there you go. There's a nice little thing about DBBL. Um, I, I, you know, I think they were a pretty decent league in that, and uh, so yeah, it's, it's interesting. I, as far as the builds go, I vastly prefer Caster's build. Um, he has the Sea Bros build, which is three dodge blitzers and a dodge assassin, a block witch, a wrestle witch, two rerolls and an apple. Jonesy has gone for a much less standard team. Three dodge blitzers, a tackle blitzer, a defenseless witch, a wrestle witch, a leader runner, so he does get the three rerolls, but um, which could be a factor in the rain. That weather change is annoying, turns elves into normal players. The tackle blitzer might do, but it's very unlikely to. Like it's just, it's just very unlikely to, right? Asking questions is better than having answers. Um, just ask any teacher. So I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of tackle in general, especially when it's stopping you having like a blodge witch elf. Yeah. I mean, this is this is the matchup to have it right, it, or again versus Amazons that aren't in Blood Bowl three. Um, so like other dark elves and wood elves. Where you're going to get most use from tackle. Just straightforward blocking, no diagonals here, but gets three pals. Outrageous. Outrageous three pals. Don't follow any of them. Interesting. I'd have definitely followed all of them. I don't like letting them get up for free here. Oh, especially if you're going to blitz this guy with tackle. The tackle does have an effect. Of course, he could have just blitzed a defenseless guy as well. Whoa. And he gets a chaos. So there you go. Instant tackle impact. Like every other time I've mentioned not being a fan of tackle, it just instantly gets a removal. Uh, the last one was not a follow because he, he's still here. I mean, I would have followed. I would have followed all of them, right? Just keep them in combat. He could have at least put this guy out. It's really weird to like at least put this guy, so that you know they've got to dodge off. But um, no, none of them followed. I, mean, I would have followed every single hit. But there you go. We'll see what happens with a skillless witch elf. And what would happen with a block witch elf, which we can't really say. You know, that's the thing, isn't it? But you know, it's it's completely standard thing to do, isn't it? Like tackle. People people take tackle in that style. 
I guess it suddenly changes the matchup in that now uh, Castor is giving him the lineman to blitz rather than the blodgers, which, you know, if he had no tackle, he'd probably be lining up the blodgers to get hit. Doesn't get a knockdown. Maybe a frenzy witch elf would like a block witch elf would have got the knockdown there. We'll never know. So you know, even when even when the tackler does make a random removal, um, doesn't even that even that doesn't necessarily prove it correct. The five plus stab is on. I think it, I'm best not taking the. See Bros Bill, because I'd probably be too tempted just to five plus in to stab every turn. <laughs> Glorious stabbings. Undead not so strong in this tournament, but three of the top players were always going to use be using Necro, so... Funny, isn't it? When you think about, when you think about this tournament, when you really think about it, a lot of the top players were going to be using Wood Elves and Necro. They were the two that I expected to run into the most. So maybe I should have taken the assassin, but didn't. Seeding a bit of ground there, it wasn't it? Really need to. Practiced a hundred games with that build. Wow. Yeah. I should have done that. I practiced like ten games, if that. I should have played more. As soon as it happened, I should have started playing Delves and just learned how to play Delves. They didn't even take them in Super League. What an idiot. I mean, yeah, blitzing this guy seems pretty obvious. Castor is leaving this, uh, third of the pitch quite open if he wants to push is it trap space I don't really think so but traps aren't meant to look like traps are they so maybe it is Feel like if somebody gives you free penetration, you should uh, generally take it. And 
<laughs> I don't know why you're talking about Seagulls. Is he going to hand it off in the rain? Wow. Flip me, guys. Handing off in the rain. Not what I would do. But who can say if it's good or bad? He gets it. Look a dog. <laughs> it's funny that that's a normal role for most of the teams, isn't it? But for uh, for elves, you're like, oh god, really, really rain making it a three plus. Really. I mean, if it wasn't raining, I'd have done it on a two, probably. But. I mean, it definitely could have been. Re it could definitely could have been game losing, couldn't it? It's the full power. Quite right, this random fella stood forward here. I don't like these two. They're not really doing anything, right? I could have had another player there and a player there or something, right? Or like here and here or something. It's just something doing, some, doing something more than just nothing. Yeah, restricting something. Yeah, like here they're just being part of a formation. They are, they are completing a formation, but they're not like really doing anything here are they? actively. Cheeky removal. Now Caster's down to nine players. Jonesy's still on eleven. Jonesy's been playing a lot of uh, Naf Ladder, funnily enough. Speaking of Seed uh, Rose's hundred practice games, Jonesy is top of uh, Naf Ladder, I think, at the moment with uh, probably this team. Quite a good league for NAF practice. I really need to start playing more. Maybe I should. Maybe I. I think I will not go the uh, Seabros build. I think I'll go the Christopher B build, which is dropping a witch elf, <laughs> which seems terrible. Um, for a re-roll. The problem is one of them's on the runner though, isn't it? I like a dodge assassin more than lead a runner. The problem is giving up the second witch, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not a fan of the runner. I mean, the fun it does the runner does let you uh, does make you a little bit better at two turns, doesn't it? It does make you a little bit better at like fast drives. But the assassin is sometimes useful. The team that I'd run with on tabletop would be the Mankiz build, but with an Apple 
and a team mascot. I'm happy that that's the best actually, the team mascot. A third of a reroll. <laughs> Seems better than an assassin or a runner. It's, it's actually like half a reroll, is it? Yeah. You're 55% to get one, so it's kind of like half a reroll, isn't it? Oh, there you go, Keith. I guess it's half of half, it's a quarter of a reroll, isn't it? It's a quarter of a reroll. Still. Wait, no, if you've got a reroll, you get to reroll two things. And yeah, this, you reroll one thing 55% of the time. So yeah, it is like a quarter of a reroll. Which is all right. Hmm. Oh yeah, I mean, if you couldn't, it would be terrible. <laughs> to dodge off now and come back. You just have to. You don't have enough to defend with. Yeah, it's basically a quarter of a reroll. Oh wow, no, I hate this. Hate this from Caster. That's just it's too weak, isn't it? You can't you have to you had to dodge this off. You had to commit to dodging this off. This is too weak, I mean <laughs> This is like absolutely free penetra this is free penetration essentially. It's going the other way. But like this is too good. You even get to punch over here as well, because like you can go through and get another hit there. Whole team in here. Whole team in here. Punch that. But we're not doing that, we're going the other side. I guess there are like three players here and two players there, so like, you're leaving quite a lot behind if you go this side, but I, I mean, I really like going. I don't think this is trap space. I think this is just the best place to go. Wow. Even blitzing the wrong way as well, but he gets the power. Huge both down there. Like, if I, if I was going to go this way, I would have blocked with him, so I could have pushed her there, right? Like, I know he gets out further now, but I'd have wanted him in there to stop get through my wall. Wow, that's, that's really interesting to not go here. I would have definitely gone here. He's actually done this wrong, hasn't he, with this guy in front? This guy should have, they should have swapped now. He's actually uh, weak in the back. 
Which, by the way, like he's not because he's never coming in the back, so he could have just piled more forward. Hey, shadowing has no effect, but maybe the second one will. No. Diced. Getting him over here is pretty decent, I guess, but it's really, I think mean, that's really weird. I thought it was weird by Caster to give it and weird by Jonesy not to take it, but you know, maybe it was a cunning trap laid by Caster and avoided by Jonesy. I would have run into it like an idiot. Three players on that guy. That seems excessive. And we've only got nine. Also, your three guys don't make it harder than two. Really weird. Did, was it just a misclick? Maybe this was just a misclick and then he made up for it with that guy. That surely seems a misclick. Tackle doing a thing. Pretty much had to reroll that, I think. Well, the free penetration this turn is also deep penetration. You could just literally get there without rolling a dice. You can have a full cage here with very minimal dice rolls. Maybe none. Maybe you can have a full cage here without rolling a dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. You can get a cage here without rolling a single dice. That's wild to me. <laughs> that armbar cast was hilarious, yeah. Looks like that's exactly the <laughs> the place he's going. I'd have actually uh, done it differently though. I would have uh, put the runner and the rookie this side, right? Or you couldn't put the rookie that side. You could put the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You could put him at the, the back corner, right? Him at the back corner would be better. Also could have done it without dice rolls. It's a removal. I feel like I would have blitzed somebody else, right? I feel like I would have just blocked here and then blitzed one of these or something. But I would have definitely just made a full cage first. Three KOs is pretty brutal.
I like going this way because you know it, you're gonna have to make two dodges anyway so if he shadows you on the first one it like literally doesn't matter so he's still only getting one shadowing roll Surf the tackler. Almost might as well here because Shield doesn't look like you're going to stop him. But maybe he will. Full power. No tackle necessary. Thank you very much. <laughs> look, you've got to take shadowing seriously. <laughs> well it's because I thought if he went back this way um, he could shadowing the second time and then he'd have the shadowing on the ball right and then and then if he, he dodged again he'd be right in the cage so like actually you know yeah it's multiple sixes but it can happen so it's something that you should think about isn't it With three re-rolls, this is very, very likely touchdown, isn't it? I haven't been a fan of either side, I'll be honest with you, BB Jock. <laughs> I have not been a fan of how either side has played it. It's been harder for Caster, of course, having players removed. But, um, yeah. This looks like it's going to be 3 2 plus it's a score, doesn't it? I guess you can blitz. You can blitz this one and then it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. One, 1 2 plus to score. A blitz and then a 2 plus to score. Yeah. Well, maybe not. You can do something clever. No, no, I can't. No, I can't. No. Yeah, easy everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slightly easier on the right because the witch wasn't out. Maybe switches there instead of there. That's, that's over there. But then maybe if you do that, you put in players and uh, chain. I don't know. Anytime you're ready, buddy. <laughs> Dipping in a time bank on this turn, I don't think is really necessary, but fair enough.
So double down. It is a rush. Will he snake with a carrier? No. Nope. I'm not jealous. He gets two back if does caster. Outside chance of a one turn. It's really difficult though, isn't it, with movement seven? The double witch, you could try doing it with blocks, right? It's like greedy, but it's got the biggest payoff. Because you can just not have to dodge at all. Yeah, Surfer Blitz is pretty tempting, honestly. That's a good reason to go for the... Uh This looks decidedly non-optimal. It could be possible still, but it looks decidedly suboptimal. I mean, it is possible probably, but it's just weirdly, weirdly uh, not good. I think I prefer the uh, Surfer Blitzer to this. Jonesy's got four rerolls as well. If this was, if if he had four rerolls for this one turn, it'd be quite on, wouldn't it? But um, with only one reroll. <laughs> Instant fail. Served the blitzer. Yeah. Serving the blitzer is better than that. Lots of lots of things wrong with that attempt. Could have blitzed this guy to chain him in so that he could have had a power on the first one. He could have witch elf to there there and he didn't have witches on the line for the last hit and yeah. Also should have tried to be scoring with a dark elf assassin because it's just worse than the blitzers. 
<laughs> so if you like, if you snake the uh, at any point, at least you've lost a rubbish assassin and not a brilliant blitzer. But both sides have eleven, and an apple and full rerolls for the second half. So once again, Caster is in the better spot here with a win. Could go a win and a draw. This would be Jonesy's uh, first point, which would still be very possible to qualify with. <laughs> yes, uh, I did. I did do the uh, Mr. Page game live, Morglum. It was, it was incredible. <laughs> I mean, not for Diamond, but for entertainment, it was incredible. Oh, no more rain, but an absolute end zone kick. Interestingly, not trying to carry with a blitzer. I'd definitely be carrying with a blodger and not a frenzy blodger. So, a little bit weird. I guess he's going for the Witch Elf carrier. Or maybe he's going for the uh, the Assassin, but like being blockless instead of block full, I'm not a fan of. And again, straightforward block. Seems a lot. I don't know why they're not committing to the LOS. Like, it's not like. This is a super strong anti-blitz formation. Could have definitely had a few more LOS hits. Pick up the ball, little assassin man. No, no, we're not going to pick up the ball, we're going to blitz first. Hello, Napalm. Well, they're a great team. They're not a great team. First of all, they're not a great team. Um, and second of all, the danger with the offset LOS is which elves have um, Frenzy, right? Um, so this tournament, I don't know how familiar you are with Blood Bowl. Um, so each team had like six skills or more and 11.50 to buy their team so dwarves were put in the same tier as dark elves which meant that they only had six skills which isn't really very many for dwarves and um, so while dwarves would do okay versus wood elves and skaven and dark elves only okay. They don't just beat them, you know, they, they don't beat them like 70% of the time or anything. They just do about 50% versus Wood Elves, Dark Elves, Skaven. Um, we do poorly versus Orcs and Lizardmen um, and Necromantic, which are all going to be popular choices. So, yeah. Not good for this, not good for this format at all. At all. An instant KO. I tell you what, Jonesy has been subtly dicing Caster here. I would apple this, I think. As as bad as a rookie lineman is, the fact that it's an instant down to ten players, I think I'd have appled that. Yes. So the reason that when dwarves when dwarves are great, when when I mean dwarves can be a great team, and when dwarves are a great team is when they have ten guard, and yeah, like four mighty blow, and uh, and you know, <laughs> ten of those are randomed, and when they've got a movement eight, ball carrier, um, so all of those things are what make dwarves a great team sometimes, but in this format. They're slow, and they're not strong, and they're not agile. 
Yeah, it's just, they're just bad. And so they should really be in tier two or something, right? And they should get more skills, but they don't. Also, they're cheap, so they don't they don't make use of the money, right? Like dark elves love having all this. That dark elves want even more money than they've got here, right? Whereas dwarves are just like, we've got loads of money spare. <laughs> Let's get loads of assistant coaches and a reroll we don't need, you know? Like the so dwarves just end up spending, you know, money they don't need, whereas other teams spend everything better and then basically people keep mistearing them because nobody wants to ever face dwarves <laughs> first thing you have to do is move the ball isn't it and get them in your cage unless I guess you're going to hand it off which then you might do some other things. Nope, he's got, he went to the exact same square, didn't he? He went to the exact square there. That was pretty good. Well done, Jimothy. I don't know why I thought this one instead of this one or anything. No real reason. I mean, it's mysterious for how powerful they are, right? Literally nobody took them. You could definitely argue the teams that nobody took were mistiered. <laughs> but, um, you know, what are they called? Uh, Underworld were also tier one, which they're not. So nobody took them. Wait, well, Underworld, Underworld might have been tier two even. But still, they're, not, they're just not even as good as humans, and humans aren't very good at all. Maybe that would have been if, like, some, you know, certain people had qualified, right? Maybe if some people who just, like, really love dwarves might have qualified, maybe they'd have taken them. Because, like, they're not terrible. Somebody took Chaos, so maybe the guy who took Chaos just really liked Chaos, right? So. So maybe. Maybe if somebody just really liked them, they would have taken them. the chess would have done but you know like maybe Hiru right? something like that instant apple there for Jonesy he didn't think about it for a second <laughs> whereas Caster agonised over this guy the turn before I would have definitely appled this I wouldn't have thought about that for a second I would have instantly appled that if I was Caster and uh, yeah Jonesy instantly appled this I would have actually quite liked to lay a, a bit more, right? Like maybe uh, maybe have another two players out here. I don't really want him pressuring in here. Oh, thanks, Fluffy Burrito. Good afternoon to you too. Yeah, this is the thing, right? It just instantly powers you and he gets on your balls. Getting on your balls is, uh, you know, there's a time and a place, and a blood ball match is not when you want a dark elf doing that. <laughs> Hello, calcium legend. A wonderful delf mirror. Some people might not think a Delft mirror is so wonderful, but I think it's good. I think it's interesting, you know, like... Okay, it's mostly who rolls double ones, but things happen. <laughs> things happen. It's not just who rolls double ones. <laughs> but, um... It's certainly mostly who rolls double ones. <laughs> that is definitely mostly what it is. I mean, unless people make mistakes, you know. No, I just wanted to base the ball. Goblin is the best one. 
Um, yeah, I, I, I find him interesting. Plus, I'm playing Dark Elves, right? So I want to see. I want to see more Dark Elves. I'll be honest, Calcium. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't really see how close the elves, the Witch Elves, were. He's, one, he's got a skillless one, so looking at the position of this Witch Elf, I guess it was going to be a skillless one, so we didn't want to risk it. Yeah, there's a lot of play, like, you know, I was saying it comes down to who rolls double one. Um, there is a lot of play, obviously, in the game, but... Um, Like, who makes the decision to not, to not blitz with block there, number one, you could have blitzed with block, and to not blitz this guy, so now we have to dodge or hand off with only one reroll left, so on a scale of one to I absolutely hate this, um, I absolutely hate this. <laughs> I think the play was to blitz this guy with wrestle. Or, you know, if you are going to make this move, do it with block. You might just have to dodge away. He rolls the instant one. By the way, the fatal, um, the absolutely fatal failure state as well of rolling the one there, whereas at least he could have handed it off to this guy and, uh, you know, at least the tackle would have been base and stuff and things might have happened if he'd handed it off. So, yeah, yeah, I, I really hate that. <laughs> now Castor is down to zero rerolls and I feel we will see a lot of basing the ball every turn now because in fact just basing everything right things can happen if you have to roll dice and you don't have re-rolls so yeah I feel like that will be the goal that Jonesy has How you really feel? I mean, it wasn't. I wasn't mean then, was it? That's just, I just, just didn't like it. I really didn't like it. I mean, that is how I really feel. It was. It really is how I feel. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say I thought something was an amazing play if I didn't think it was an amazing play. Uh, we haven't seen many amazing plays. It's mostly just been, you know, sensible things. Um, I guess Spartacus's one turn has, has been the best play. That's like certainly the flashiest play, if you like. Problem with standing this guy up is uh, the witch of getting you. So even though, like you know, you're standing him up and you're like, oh, I'm gonna blitz this guy, and then he's all right. He still, you could still get witch elf jumped up. Though, I guess Castor is not so interesting. Interested in jump up blocking when he's got no rerolls left, and he's just trying desperately to uh, somehow not lose. This is looking very grim for Caster and very good for Jonesy. Jonesy's two minutes into time bank. Caster only one. No easy penetration this turn, is there? It's turn twelve, there's no need to. Mm. 
Yeah, no, I really did not like. Like, there was no need to make a dodge without the ball, was there? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like it was turn fifteen or fourteen or whatever where it was critical that you move without using your blitz. Like, the blitz that was made wasn't super impactful. Oh wow, this is uh, this is something, isn't it? This is rowdy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, bit rowdy. He's he's got only got rushes left. The ball's exposed. He's only got rushes left. He's just gonna get double surfed. Oh, he's got no rerolls. The ball's exposed, and he's gonna get double surfed. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Well, this is a reset turn for Jonesy, isn't it? As he, uh, as he just brings everything back and in front and makes two surfs and says thank you very much. I guess the problem is you've got to make them without like losing, without giving up the defense, right? Yes, yeah, I guess he did forget this guy, yeah. But I mean, I don't think it's difficult to uh, get these two serfs without giving up anything too bad. And he's got reroll so he can make the blockless block. The blockless block! Ooh, it doesn't get a knockdown, so that makes it, you know, a little bit trickier in the grand scheme of things because the, the best the best thing to do oh wait no he had a player here yeah yeah the, be the best thing to do no it's actually hard honestly it's actually hard the best thing is probably just to surf one honestly it's actually the, the, there's a lot of there's a big commitment to surf both yeah. Yeah, that's actually a big commitment to, to surf ball. Honestly, you probably should just punch this guy out and then surfed him. And just minimal commitment. Minimal commitment, surf the blodger. You'd love to surf both here, but it, it is a bit tricky. To, like, not give up the rest of your defence, right? You don't, you don't want to go, ha-ha, I surfed two blitzers, and then this cage is over here, right? That's what you don't want. Tough skulls. Pushes. No, he takes the power. And then just surfs one. Might not even surf. He's got to surf one. <laughs> Come on. Are you even an elf? But then he's got it, you know, this is a lot to... It is a bit tricky to defend everything.
holding the ball on the nine. <laughs> well, he is going for the serve. But he's probably after like double rush. Yeah. I like this diagonal thing. I like this diagonal line here, by the way. I guess you can try to just move over this side and get a bit forward. It's a bit tricky though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of carrying on the assassin. Maybe it made more sense versus Black Orc, so he could uh, he could stab stab any goblins that tried to sack him. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it does mean you get to use the blitzers, right? It does mean you get to use the blitzers. Um, but. Yeah. Oh, we're going to dodge, are we? you maybe wanted to have dodged that. I mean, the play was definitely dodge and stand there if you if you want the blitzer here. But I mean, the runner here, but you want the, the assassin here, you want the assassin here, right? And then just be in a cage. Could have moved these first if they weren't going to rush, like tag there and there and stuff. But uh, now as it is... It's a pretty easy ball sack. Yeah, that's the best way, isn't it, up there? Probably this lineman, right? This lineman probably comes in to cancel that. Don't want to make too many safe moves before this because you want to be able to react a bit, but you don't need to be able to react too much, so you can make a bunch of safe moves. Here we go, two dice on the ball. No dump off. As I yeah, it's still the same thing. 
Fair enough using a bit of time bank here, but down to 3.30. It's getting a little bit spicy. Here we go. Makes the rush. Has to re-roll the hit. Does he? I mean, basically. Gets the ball down. Did he have to re-roll it? Does he have to go for the pickup? What's he going to do? Oh. Like, it was really tempting to re-roll it, wasn't it? It was really tempting. Maybe it was right. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is absolutely the time to use time, yep. Yeah. This is absolutely the time to use time. We are going for the pickup. Fails. Does not re-roll. I quite like that. I think I do like the uh, attempt to pick up. Don't re-roll. Well, things can happen here. <laughs> Say that all the time. <laughs> it's it's hard. It's, yeah, it's, I can see a path, a path I'd like to take. It's not it's not easy though, is it? Without uh, without re rolls. dice things are we gonna two dice things are we gonna blitz it's gonna block him I think, I think what I would have done, <laughs> rolled a one. I think what I would have done was this blitzer would have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And then gone for the surf and then come out. So you'd have like a sideline cage, as rubbish as it is. I feel that's like pretty much all you could do. There you go, you rolled a one and now, uh, now it looks nearly done. I mean, it already looked nearly done, but now it looks even more nearly done. <laughs> Fair enough taking some time here, isn't it? There's a lot of options.
we have to push. Will he scatter it or not? He doesn't. I think I would have scattered it just for a. Uh, just so I could surf the blitzer. I guess I can still serve the blitzer if you power this guy. Oh, well. That's kind of stopped him surfing that blitzer as well now, hasn't it? If he'd assisted here, he could have blocked it and then surfed it. Now we can't even surf that blitzer. Don't like that at all. Do I not like that? Now you should use dodge now. Because how is how is he gonna surf you? Should have had the witch elf here. Absolutely should have had the witch elf one back. I mean, not even the witch elf, right? It should have been a lineman. Hmm. That was a bit of a balls up by Jonesy. But, you know, I guess high pressure, right? Look, he's down a minute of time bank. He's thinking. Like Stevie G, do not let this slip. <laughs> and uh, you know, playoff nerves are indeed a thing. And now, now there's actually things that bizarrely there are there are options open for Caster. He does need to get a scoring threat or two in. But you know he's got a three-two up over here. He's got a three-two over out over here. Or he could do blocks or blitz or something to make things better. I mean he's got an obvious blitz. And then uh an obvious block but then it's a bit tricky after that the full power. And there we go, like there's chances here. Blood is a lie, that's why that's why I don't like tackle. You've got a dead skill versus many matchups. When I say many hawks. But it's uh it's also hard to get it in the right place in the other games, right? And uh, and even if it's not dead, you might just pal them anyway. And if you pal them, you'd rather pal with mighty blow. Is the ting? Oh, jump up block. 1D. I definitely wanted to get her away. And then I would have passed to her. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then pass it to her. And then scream with the other one. That was my, that was my play. 
I probably dodge this guy out first, right? So you've got a scolding threat. And then dodge her out, so you've got two. Or maybe even dodge her out to be like, make him the scoring threat and make her the screen. One, two. He is doing a pass though. Oh, he was doing a handoff. Of course, because the pass is rubbish now. But he didn't break his AV. So. There is a reroll for Jonesy though. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's the... And it's the runner. I can make like a full cage. Interesting. So the witch elf could reach as well. So seeing as the witch elf can reach, him going there first makes no sense. I hate dodging her when she can get there for free. She's blitzing. Okay, I hate all of this. <laughs> <laughs> if she had gone there and handed it off to, to him, I like that. I think. Or maybe she's not even handed it off. I don't know, she hasn't got enough movement, has she? She rushed, oh dear. I feel like picking it up and then handing it off into a cage was very possible and desirable. But. Um, that 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 going in front was fair enough, right? To to cover failure state of double one in the pickup, that was actually pretty good. But everything else, I think, should have been about getting the ball in the cage. Because on the ground, even with no rerolls, this is too easy, isn't it? Like elves can roll dice. He's got some elves here. Elves can do things very well. So that's a bit a bit dodgy. <laughs> Stab and Kaz. Imagine if he'd done that turn one. Imagine if he'd done that like turn one. Just <laughs> stab the tackler and Kaz it. <laughs> I would have actually, I would have been looking to use him to chain forward actually and uh, yeah. Mm. 
Doesn't look too great, does it? Without a reroll. Gets the knockdown. So now it's a 4 4 3 3 2. Oh, it scattered it. No way. This is wild. Yeah. I mean, it's so many people could just scatter it. Either it's going to knock it down and go for the 4 4 3 3 2. Scatter it out the back so you can just three three two 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 two. two. Yeah, I probably ne frayed nerves right at the end of the day. I don't know. It's a, it's a big match, isn't it? The big match last four blocks on blocks have been four five. Um, so anyway, Jonesy's won here. Um, he can try to get a second touchdown. The, this could potentially go to tiebreakers. So, um, Caster was right to base this guy. And here we go, a 3 plus handoff into a 2 plus score. That was absolutely the correct thing to do. So there you go. GG, well played Jonesy. And congratulations to him. Commiserations to Caster. Um, I can show you the table before the match. After that, that puts Jonesy on one win. So... Everybody in this group has played two games and lost one. And the final round of games is Diomed versus Caster and Jonesy versus Mr. Page. So you would fancy Diomed and Jonesy, but anything can happen. Very exciting. And, uh, yep, there you go. And actually, that second touchdown for Jonesy puts him on three touchdowns four, which gives him the tiebreaker versus Mr. Page if there's a draw. So, if there's draws, Diomed and Jonesy have the advantage. Very exciting stuff. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.